Yo, what's up guys? Pase Baller again here in January 22nd, 2021 NBA Game Day Edition. Before we start, again, I'm asking everyone to click on the subscribe button. Um, please include that bell logo or uh, bell button um, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet. Alright, we have a lot of NBA talking to do in the days to come. Alright, so for this, uh, for this session, this would be the last game. Uh, this is uh, the battle between New York Knicks, my New York Knicks, and Sacramento Kings. Okay, let's take a look at the standings right now. Um, the New York Knicks is uh, from the East Conference. Uh, they're ranked number 8. Well, what do we have here? They're ranked number 8. And they have 8 wins and 8 losses. I mean, 8, 8, 8. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar. Um, well, if you're a Filipino or if, you're, if you've been to Philippines, there's, a, there's such thing here as 555. So, uh, for Filipinos out there, you know that. For those who ain't, search that in Google or something, 555. Um, it's something interesting and juicy. All right, 555. But for New York Knicks, they're 888. Number 8 with 8 wins and 8 losses. That's my New York Knicks. And what's great about New York Knicks right now is that uh, they are having 3-game winning streak, man. They're having a stride. So uh, they just defeated um, Golden State Warriors last night. They defeated uh, Orlando Magic and Boston Celtics in back-to-back -back nights. Man, they're, they're, again, they're on the roll. So um, uh, in terms of momentum, um, no, no doubt, New York Knicks has the advantage on this. And let me tell you why. Let me show you why. For Sacramento Kings uh, in the West, they're ranked number 13. And their record is 5 wins and 10 losses, man. This is crazy. And in terms of the streak, they're having a four-game losing streak. Man, four-game losing streak for Sacramento. This must be hurting for them. Um, so, uh, again, in terms of momentum, I guess that answers the question. In terms of momentum, um, New York Knicks got the advantage on this. So, what do we have? Um, this one would be held at Sacramento. Uh, Sacramento is given minus four. New York is given plus four. This would be at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's 11 a.m. Manila. Um, I'm imagining myself uh, preparing lunch then because it's my birth. Uh, it's my sister's birthday, and we would be watching and supporting my Knicks, man. All right. So, again, what do we have? Sacramento being given minus four. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, honestly, it you know it made my you know it it made my eyebrow raised because man. Aside from the fact that Sacramento is enjoying their home court, I don't see any advantage that Sacramento has on this game. I mean, okay, I understand they got uh, they got Fox, and Fox must be one of the you know one of those better guards that we have right now in the NBA. But aside from that, um, the bigs that they have, Whiteside and Bagley, um, or Bagley, I don't know how to pronounce it right. Whatever you do, wherever you are, and. Then, they're not even they're not even feeling a hundred percent healthy. So, uh, uh, and going up against the Knicks, who are little by little getting healthier because uh, they got um, they got Burks back, right? So the only the only one who's really out is Tilakina. Um, Austin Rivers is listed as day to day, but you know he could he could actually be tapped if needed. Um, so in terms of availability and in terms of health, I guess New York has the advantage too. Uh, I don't really get it, man. And, and again, plus the fact that they've been losing. They're in the four-game losing streak. I'm not really comfortable going into a team who, who is in a four-game losing streak and I'm going to put a minus four on that team. Nah. And the, and, the, and, the, and the team that I would go up against with is New York Knicks. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> and the game that I would go up against with is on a three-game winning streak, man. And looking at the... Looking at the uh, looking at the Chumahalas, looking at the teams that they beat, man, those are legit. Um, Golden State Warriors, Boston Celtics, man, Orlando Magic. So, but there's one thing that I'm I'm thinking that uh, the experts, quote unquote, actually uh, check on this, and that's a uh, fatigue factor. I'm sure that I, I'm sure if they, we would ask them, that's that's what they're that, that's what they would say. And uh, I have to give it to them. Yes, of course, it is a factor. Um, no matter who you are, it's back to back. You know, it's back to back nights. Um, you played last night, and you're gonna play again. Um, your legs, you know, they're tired. Um, 
Mm-hmm. It, it sounds like I'm so biased because like, I'm a New York Knicks fan, and uh, and maybe if you've heard my previous videos, I'm also you know I'm also a believer of a uh, of a uh, of a tea. And um, yeah, I, I gotta I gotta give it to Sacramento Kings. Yeah, they they have the advantage in terms of fatigue factor. But what I'm saying is the advantage that they have in terms of fatigue wouldn't be that much because. New York Knicks, they might be tired, yes, but they're young. I, I don't know what's the average of the New York Knicks roster right now, but I guess it was it's just around 23, 24. That's the average, man. Look at Mitch Robinson, man. His, his age is like my, my, my nephew or something. So, <laughs> they're young, man, and, and young people, they can actually play every night. They can hit it every night, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, I'm, I'm really not comfortable with that minus four. I'm not with that especially with, with how Sacramento is uh, lately, and especially with how New York is lately, I'm going to side with New York. Um, I'm going to be safe, though. I'm still going to take that plus four because maybe the fatigue factor might kick in, and maybe New York would lose, but I don't think I don't think New York would lose in, a, you know, um, in double digits or something. So maybe I'm going to take the plus four, but honestly... In all my in all my heart, I think that New York Knicks doesn't need that. But again, this is betting, this is gambling. So let's be safe. Pick New York Knicks plus four. Again, thank you for the, all those who have been supporting, and uh, uh, for those who are new to the channel. Uh, you know, we post uh, predictions um, for the NBA every day except uh, Sundays. All right. So just uh, uh, keep on supporting. If 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 possible, please share the channel. Take care out there, wherever you are. Peace out, I say love.